So the good news is that people who have HIV now can actually take medications that keep their viral load nice and low. That's the number we look at to tell us how much HIV is replicating inside of your body. And if your viral load is controlled, many of the things that we're afraid of with HIV, like you getting sick or you transmitting the virus to others, are really not a concern. What we want for the viral load is that we want it to be as low as possible. We want it to essentially be undetected. Patients sometimes get confused when they hear that because they say, doc, does that mean that I don't have HIV anymore? Like, you know, I'm cured of HIV? And that's not the case. What it means is that for the amount of blood that we're looking at, when we look into kind of like a drop of blood, we count the number of HIV particles that we can see. And undetectable basically means that the lab instruments that we're using, which are pretty sensitive, are counting such little amounts of HIV in that drop of blood that essentially it's undetectable for that amount of blood. However, if you were to stop taking your antiretrovirals and we were to come back and test you in a week or two weeks and we counted that same, you know, we took blood from you and we looked at that drop of blood, you would see that your viral load had gone up because the thing that's keeping your viral load low is your antiretrovirals that you're taking. So the viral load is a really, really key number that your doctor will use to tell them how well the medications are controlling your HIV in, in your body. And if you keep your HIV viral level low and you keep your immune system strong, then you can basically live a life that's almost like if you didn't have HIV at all. 